Hey guys, Joe Staten has confirmed that there will be Halo Infinite DLC, which we already knew. But, according to Sean W and his inside source, there's a lot of information on what the next Halo campaign will be. Obviously, things can change and the DLC is rumored to like come out in 2024, but still, the information is most likely true, so we need to discuss it. So, the most important thing is that the DLC is obviously very early in development, and Joe Staten will be in charge of it. Just saying those words seems so surreal, but it's happening. Joe Staten has been working on Halo for like 20 years, and he knows what goes into making a good campaign. So, with this information and the other leaks, let's get into every aspect that we can now speculate about. So, if you guys remember, in my first Halo The Endless video where I talked about how to improve the campaign, I spent a long time talking about the open world. Halo Infinite's open world is just not that varied. It is just one biome, and on top of that, most of the linear levels are just foreigner interiors. Which, I'm gonna be honest, I like that. I did recently play through the campaign again, and I seriously enjoyed most of the foreigner levels. But, I would prefer to see different things in the next campaign. The only advice or feedback I could really give to improve this was just putting in more effort. I didn't really find it to be that complex. The only way to add more biomes is to just add more biomes. And that is what 343 has in mind. They describe it as fighting the endless on a buried world. Which that's it dude. It looks like the DLC will be a brand new campaign open world experience, not just an extension of what we already had. Now we still don't know where the campaign will take place, but it for sure will most likely be Zeta Halo again. Now, if it's like some planet, the varied locations might include like cities or stuff like that, but assuming the most likely outcome, I would like to see a desert biome, all right, a jungle biome, and a snow biome, the iconic three. But honestly, any variety would be welcomed. It would be cool to get explorable foreigner cave systems though. That would be insane. But again, it looks like they got the message and will most likely deliver. So yeah, nice. So yeah, as you just heard me earlier, we will be fighting the endless. Now. This might be a little out there, but there was also a leak about a multiplayer core that wasn't a Spartan, but also not an elite. It might be Brutes, but probably not. I think it might be an endless counterpart to a Spartan, which take that as you will. I honestly don't know what to think other than like the endless is a real faction. 343 did a great job with the banished and the skimmers were fun too, but this is good guys. 343. Just make sure the Endless are fun to fight and also unique from the Banished. Just remember the old chess gameplay, all right? Enemy design versus weapon sandbox. That's how you do it. But yeah, guys, since there's pretty much no information on the Endless, I can't really say much, but this will be good for having multiple factions in the next game. They should still do something with the Flood, but as long as you have factions that actually fight each other, it's all good. And that's about it for what was leaked. Looking at it, it is kind of weird and honestly not much more than what we already knew. There were some more phrases, but they're honestly more to speculation, like more memorable moments, you know, sounds cool, but not really specific at all. But guys, I really want to talk about what Joe Staten means for the campaign story. So guys, I think it's obvious that the worst part of my original video was the story section because I had this super specific scene in my head with Atriox and <laughs> yeah, it was just messy. What to take away from it is that make the villain passionate about his motivation with an active role in the story. Don't make them sit back like Escher. Also, I don't know how I didn't realize this, but I was giving advice from the angle of how 343 could write their stories. Honestly, it was a weird section because 343 doesn't even show any signs of consistency. And that and that's probably because like they keep switching their story. But guys, the person writing the story is gonna be Joe freaking Staten. Like, dude, it's just insane. Like, this is the guy that wrote Halo 2. He obviously has a better understanding of not only the Halo universe, but also how to write a good story. Something that Joe has been good at is character. I hope to God that he truly understands what 343 has been doing with Chief's character so he can stick to it and maybe even expand it. But dude, something also as important is to characterize the Banished and the Endless, or whatever enemy faction there is, to give depth to them like he was so masterfully able to with the Covenant. Also, a more militaristic aspect to the campaign and not just adventures of superhero Master Chief. Now guys, I am insanely excited for the next campaign, but I seriously can't hold it in any, any longer. I seriously do not like the weapon. She single-handedly brought down the campaign for me. And it's actually kind of odd for me to even talk about this, but the fact that she's probably going to be a major character in the next campaign is just annoying, dude. To sum up my feelings, 
She has an arc of trying to learn emotions by making these super annoying jokes, but at the same time, she is a master of sarcasm and passive aggressive tones. Master Chief tells her that he won't delete her and instead use her because obviously deleting her for no reason would be the stupidest idea ever. But then when Master Chief tries to delete her so she doesn't put the entirety of humanity at risk, she gets mad and extremely moody. And the worst part in Halo Infinite's story is when the writers decide that the weapon's mood swing is more important than Master Chief saving humanity. Like, also, even when she is tolerable, Master Chief just has to pull her out with this shitty hand hologram thing so she can have the spotlight. It's not like she can just talk through the helmet. And bro, he even takes her out in his most emotional moments. Like, dude, why the hell is she so important? Like, okay, dude, I'm ranting, I'm ranting. Have to express my feelings, but mostly because if I were to just say I don't like the weapon, everybody would ask why. She is so beloved, so she will probably be in the next campaign. All I can say is that I hope they seriously tone down her presence and give the characterization to characters that actually matter. Like the main villains. But yeah guys, even though it's super early in development, 343 is taking steps in the right direction for this game. I have no doubt that it will be quality and it might even be the best Halo campaign ever. Because just the fact that Halo Infinite was an open world gave it so much replay value and freedom. But guys, what do you want from the next campaign? Also, sorry I got mad about the weapon, but bro, she's gonna be in my head the entire time. Make her better. But yeah, goodbye guys.